little video to show you how to get the best out of the top games tab. Now, when I was creating along with Bjorn G Chess, it was very important for me to have features in G Chess that I would want to use that I've taken from other sites and things that I've used to get to Grandmaster level. Now, one of the most important things for me was to be able to access the games of top players quickly and see how they played certain positions. So we created that now with our top games tab. So you click on the tab and you can do this two ways on the right hand side or on the board. The board I'd say is the more practical way. And let's say you wanna look at, I don't know, let's go Jabava London again, just for the sake of it with knight to c3. You can see the game's automatically uploading here. And we had a look at this g6 idea in another video. And we can go e3, our way of playing. The games are updating automatically. And after bishop g7, our favorite idea, h4. And here it will automatically list the top players who have played this position. I think this is incredibly useful because I might wanna see what Leveronian plays here and understand his plans. To do that, as always, I click on the game, I load the PGN, it will bring up that game, and we can just click through the game here, and we can see the moves, and we can try to gauge the plans in the position. Obviously, we have the two different layouts here, as we've seen before. So this is very useful, it'll automatically update any position, so even if I go to move nine here, you can see it will bring up three games of being in this position. Again, if there's a game that really interests you, you can press the Save Game tabs here to save it when you have full subscription. But another very useful thing about this, which people may not be aware of, I'll just reset the board, is this little tab here, the list. And if we put the Jabava London on the board again with Bishop F4, I can also press this button here and it will bring up all of the moves and the percentages which those moves score. This is incredibly useful. So we can see that the best scoring line here for white, but it's only been played once, is knight to c6. Of course, we're building up our top games all the time. But if you wanna have a look at the move e6, you can just click on it here and you can see all the possibilities, which moves score best for white, which moves score best for black. Another thing I was very insistent that we had before going live with um, this, this top games was the ability to search a player. I find this invaluable when I'm playing in a tournament and on the desktop here, it's very easy. Let's say you wanted to search me, you're playing me, you wanted to know what I was playing. You just type my name in, it will come up with me. We can press go and this will now search me, all of my moves, show all my statistics. So if you're on the database, you can find your own statistics, what I score well in, what I don't score well in. And if I wanna go back to the other list, we click, click there and it will show the top players that I've played. Now this can be useful for many reasons, I'm sure you can gather, and we can put different positions on the board. It will update that as we go along and just incredibly useful tool to have. Um, if I wanna, if let's say I'm playing against Mickey Adams, I can put Adams's name into the thing if I could spell it, as you can see, let me try to spell it correctly. And I can bring up all of his games and I can prepare for what he plays in those positions. So this is how you can get the most out of the top games. We're gonna be adding more PGNs here, the ability to save all this when you're subscribed and to learn from the top players in the world. This is from their games they've played in live over the board tournaments. We're gonna to be updating this on a regular basis so uh, you always have the most recent access to the games as well.